previously uh, we were just about to go into this level Toasty confronting Toasty because it's a boss um, it says confronting instead of entering and yeah, I think the bosses are pretty good on this although this one is admittedly incredibly easy you know the hardest thing in this level are these little dogs here which for some reason try and jump on you I, I don't know why it's what a weird screwed up dog is that that tries to jump on you as soon as you attack it doesn't go for the, the bite or look at it, it's, it like flattens you, what the hell <laughs> I'm aware that um, I'm now aware that you can kill the dogs just by flaming them twice but as I was playing through this I'd forgotten and um, I was basically trying to avoid them because I thought they were unkillable but I go back to them at the end so uh, yeah so before you actually get to the boss there's always some obstacles, en uh, enemies, gems to get, whatever it's the random wizard things again What kind of weird is that? It's uh, you know a weird wizard shepherd thing that owns a dog that jumps on people. All right. Okay. See a dragon. Yay! Oh, the enthusiasm. Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Genius. <laughs> Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Many tricks up his sleeve? What kind of a joke is that? Look at it, it's a bloody pumpkin. Look at it, what is it? Why is it jumping around like a retard? Look at it. How is that threatening in any way? He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, Spyro. No, he hasn't. He jumps around in a fucking circle until he dies. That's all he does. And apparently it's a sheep on wooden poles. I'm guessing that's his main trick. Um, pretty uh, pretty unimpressive trick to be honest. So we run around all these dogs and we take down the sheep. Yay, he has gems. It's like a sheep has use for gems. Okay, so I, I don't have all the gems, and it made me realise that actually I, I need to kill the dogs. Um, it's the only thing I could do, really. And what do you know? You get gems from them. You be careful to, uh, to like jump back or charge away or whatever as soon as you hit one. Because they come uh, jumping at you. Occasionally you can you can flame them twice without them actually hitting you, but usually you miss on the second time and they get you, so uh, best not risk it really. I actually nearly died in this game. See Sparks is green at the moment. I actually lose him in a second. It's kind of tedious having to go back and kill them all again but again what am I talking about even after I've killed the boss is what I mean um, oh don't mind it's not too bad saw the dog there but I decided to um, get these ones first being very careful because I don't have sparks and if you get hit without sparks there um, you just die you die as if, um, just like if you jump down a hole or something. Okay, let's get that last crazy dog. Die, you crazy bitch. Okay, we have all the treasure. We can now exit the level, thank god. Return home. thousand total treasure. Nice round number there. Okay, I will save now. 
and we can now move on. Get the sheep to get sparks back. And you can see now the sparks is back to full uh, gold health. It's the crazy uh, balloon guy again. Well done, Spyro. Ooh, peacekeepers. 